Welcome back to the Bob Woodhouse channel, and uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos on my channel, a really long time actually, and I wanted to get back into it by starting playing video games again. I haven't done a lot on the channel, and the times I have, I never really seem to continue what I started, but I'm going to try my best to do that here today with uh, The Walking Dead. Uh, I always really liked uh, Telltale like games where your choices affect the story, even though like your choices don't really affect the story that much, but it affects you how you feel about the game, and I really like that. So uh, today we're going to be playing one of the games in the Walking Dead collection. There's four in total. Since I've already played uh, season one, season two, season three, and the first two episodes of the final season. Uh, I'm gonna be playing The Walking Dead Michonne today, because that is the only one that I haven't watched or played myself. Um, and I think it'll be more interesting than going back and playing season one over again, when I, I know the outcome of every choice. Uh, going to Michonne with a clean slate, don't know what's gonna happen, and hopefully our choices, uh, actually make a nice impact on the game. Um... And I'm also going to be playing uh, a lot more other games with my friends, especially, uh, hopefully, and start playing video games a lot more, because this is what I do with most of my spare time anyway, uh, playing video games and being lazy. So, let's go ahead and begin here. Uh, the Walking Dead Season 1 was one of my favorite games of all time, and so I'm hoping that this... Michonne three-part series uh, will be okay at the least. I heard it's not the greatest, but um, uh, we'll see for ourselves, I guess. Uh, I got the Walking Dead collection for free. Uh, I don't know how, actually. Maybe it's because I had purchased uh, all the other seasons except for Walking Dead Michonne, uh, but I'm glad I got it for free so I could play something uh, that I else would have to pay $15 for. Um, another Telltale-like game that I might play in the future is The Wolf Among Us. I heard that is a really good game. Um, so, here it, here it is, Walking Dead Michonne. Uh, let's go ahead and start this. And... Let's see, so there are only three episodes, as you can see here. Uh, Michonne, of course, is the lead in all three of them. So, let's get right into this. Start episode one. In Too Deep. I did see a little bit of this, uh, like a little bit of the first episode, just to see what it was like. Um, of course, there is going to be a quote-unquote villain in this, um, so we'll, we will find out who he or she is, and I hope it's different, this is a big thing, because The Walking Dead Season 2 felt a lot like the first season, so I'm hoping this is, uh, different enough. It is only three episodes, so we'll see what happens. Um, one other game I had in mind that I was going to play later was, uh, Friday the 13th with my friends, so if we can, if I can get enough of my friends together to play a private match in that, you might see that soon. And here it is, the Telltale slogan, which people like to make fun of a lot. I left so many people that I love behind. Done. 
So not done with me. I'll try to. Oh, whoa. I'll try to be quiet when uh, people are talking in this, so you can hear it clearly. I don't know how well my TV sound is, so I'll try to be the quietest possible. And there's a door in the middle of the forest. That's not something you usually see there. There is not much gameplay in these games, uh, like, let's say, uh, other story-driven games like Batman, uh, Arkham Knight, but what this game lacks in gameplay, it does uh, have a really good story. Of course, this is based on the comic books, not the TV show, so uh, if you've never read the comics, some things might seem different. Hello, zombie. I'm not the greatest at quick time events, so I hope I don't screw up here. But that's pretty cool. So this, those were Michonne's two daughters, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so I wonder if we'll see more of them in the future. I like how it goes from the apartment scene uh, to the forest scene. That's really nice effect. Jesus, how many of these things are there? We weren't even making much noise and 20 of them disappeared out of nowhere. And why is there a couch in the middle of the forest? Why is there a campfire in the middle of an apartment? <laughs> These aren't the hardest quick time events, so... You know... Hope things don't get too difficult. But she is an effective zombie killer, let me tell you. I would not be able to do this at any point in my life. Herschel. I bet this brings back bad memories. Tang, holding on to the head and everything. You, you didn't really kill it. I mean, the head's still gonna move. Oh, well, you didn't kill that one either. Well, I guess if there's a way to start a game, it's, uh, especially a zombie game, it's to, well, kill a bunch of zombies. So... Now let's go find out what the daughters are up to in here. Hey. Who is this man? Do I want to load this? I guess I kind of have to. So 
Some days I envy the dead. Guess I can never feel pain. I'm not gonna pull that trigger. <laughs> if you pull the trigger, would the game just be over? I doubt it. But, you know. So, God, I'm might have to turn this down because you know might get copyrighted so that was an interesting start I uh, got to see a lot of zombies die and of course there's some comic book scenes there that was pretty cool but uh, I wonder who that man is uh, that uh saw us almost kill ourselves, but we decided not to. I wonder what actually would have happened if we pulled the trigger. Maybe. Uh, I don't know, that guy would have stopped us from doing it instead of us stopping ourselves. But I uh, don't know if they copyright one of my videos, or copyright strike it down, but you know, just being safe, because uh, I uh, don't want to test it. Episode 1, In Too Deep. I hope I can turn this back up now without much problem. But that wasn't that bad of an opening, so... I hope that... This continues all throughout the episode. I might let this go on for... Maybe 25 minutes. We will just see what happens. Don't want to make this go on for too long. Three weeks later. I don't like that. Yes, indeed. Proceed, come in. Over. Vanessa, you there? Who's Rashid and Vanessa? Who are all these people? Sure. Well, that's Pete. I'm glad to know. What are you doing here? Your shift isn't for another hour. Couldn't sleep. Having those nightmares again. You're holding up okay? Don't worry about you. I'm not the easiest to read. It's hard to tell how you're really doing. Things are getting better. Slowly. You're not going to recover overnight. These things take time. Just please tell me if, you know, if it gets as bad as it did. I just need to keep busy. Oak! Oak! Get down here! Michelle's taking your shift. There's Oak. I still haven't heard from Rashid or Vanessa. It's not like those guys to be in contact for this long. We trade every time I come through. Same spot. Everything's just gone. It just doesn't make sense. Their boat is always anchored right on the dock. You'll find them. You're right. Try to be an optimist. Listen. You hear it? You hear it, right? Sounds like a woman's voice. Vanessa, is that you? I heard something. I don't know if it's a woman's voice, though. Yeah. Hard to make out, though. Hey. Michonne, uh, again with the shore wave? I'm not just giving up. This bay was full of boats just a year ago. They went somewhere. If they left, it was probably for good reason. Then I want to know why. 
<sighs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? You heard it that time, right? She said help. I don't know, Pete. Didn't sound like Vanessa. But it's someone. She might know what happened here. I no, didn't really hear anything. Look, if we don't start caring about the people that are out there, we're no better than the damn walkers. All we'll find out there is trouble, Pete. I mean it. All right, so let's help her. At least someone gets it. You're the only one on this boat that even comes close to understanding. Not Berto, not Sadiq. Especially not fucking old. You know there are people worth helping. <laughs> Take over from me, okay? I'm gonna turn the boat around. Now, Sadiq, uh, he's from the comics, and I think in the comics, him and Michonne went off because Michonne needed, like, some alone time after something happened. I can't quite remember. But, got to meet a few characters there, Pete and Oak. Um, and I always like to be an optimist in this game or help the most people I can, uh, keep the most people alive. So, if my choices uh, reflect that, then you know why. So let's try to figure out what to do here. Okay. Uh, what is this? Power button. Turn off radio. No. Okay, it took me off of this one, so I thought I was done with it. Okay, hold on. Okay, yeah, it won't let me turn anymore that way. Hello? There we go. Hello? Are you in danger? Got to mention, there's gonna be a lot of huh, foul language in this. Wind. Hate wind. Ooh. Jesus, that's gotta hurt. Thanks for the save. Jesus. Oh, get the gym under control. You just had to take your seat close, right into a fucking rock. Hey, I've been sailing these waters for years. There aren't any rocks here. Well, then what the hell was that? Something else. Steady yourself. Something's going on around here. This place isn't safe anymore, Pete. Your friends are gone, and whatever scared them off is going to find us next. I told you this was a bad idea. You're just being paranoid. It's not paranoia if you're right. We're stuck out here, nowhere to go. You all need to calm down. We don't know anything yet. She's right. Panicking about it won't make us any less stuck. That girl on the shortwave. What if she's part of it? Guys, pull it together. Oak. Why? Well, how would she be part of it? Tied down. Once we've checked for damage, we can haul off. Ease our way out. Go on. Wind caused the problem. I'm pretty sure, anyway, unless I'm stupid. What exactly did she say? She said something about family. I couldn't make out more than that. Michelle, take these. 
See if you can figure out what we get stuck on. Just see if we're close to anything. I mean, I need to know what our options are. We just need to get ourselves moving again. For all our sake. All right, so this is uh, one of my favorite parts about a Telltale game, going around and looking at everything. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. And talking to people. What I didn't like about Season 2 of The Walking Dead is, like, you couldn't go around and have, like, dialogue options to talk to everybody when you're just sitting still. You could barely talk to them, barely know about them. See like that. I I wish you could like talk more to people. Um, help with the sales. Hey, Michonne, we can use a hand here. Yeah, I'll help. Stand by what I said. Pete isn't cautious enough. He's just an optimist. You can call it what you like, but we shouldn't be trying to find people. We should be staying the hell away from them. Look where we are. You think this is an accident? Damn wind. Grab it. Grab it. Pete's captain of this damn boat. Show some respect. Hey, I respect the hell out of Pete. It doesn't mean I can't see where he's lost his way. <laughs> oh, you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? <laughs> Thanks. So we can figure it out. Well, I don't like that option that much. Uh, I didn't like any of those options. These things are ancient. No wonder they broke. Uh, let's see. Use binoculars, look at shoreline. Use flashlight, look over the edge. Let's look at some plants. You should start producing fruit one of these days. That's smart. Growing food and stuff on a boat. You're, you're mobile and you got food. Smart. Alright, I guess it's time to start looking over places. Seems pretty quiet. Um, don't see anything. Not much to see out there. Alright. It's too dark to see much of anything. Flashlight. Mm. Oh. Hey, Figure out what we're stuck on. Is that another yeah. ship? At least it's not Rashid's boat. Uh, it is another ship. Or boat. Oh no, it's still on that boat. I don't want to die like that. Sorry. I just seen a lot of bad shit go down. I just... I don't want to see this fall apart, you know? I've seen better places than this get torn to shreds. It's not going to fall apart. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't let him see me slacking off. Uh, so, what else? Okay, we have these other places to check, too. I feel like the front of the ship is where we're going to find something, so I'm going to look over here first. I like to explore every option. Nothing over here, right? No. Alright, to the front of the ship we go.
What's that? That's like a fairy or something. What is, yeah, that's a fairy, isn't it? You see anything out there? Looks like an old fairy. Yeah. Could be worth checking out. You know, extra parts, maybe some food. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright, what else? Looks complicated. <clears throat> you find anything? Saw a fairy. Maroon near the shore. A fairy? Didn't see a fairy last time I was here. Tiller lever shot. Snapped in two. The what? Tiller lever. Connects the wheel to the... Look, I don't know shit about boats. Just tell me what you need. Might have what we need to fix this damn thing. Best option we got. Uh, what about your friends? friends? You think they could be out there? Hopefully we find some sign of them. Rashid knew the area better than anybody. He'd know where to find the parts we need. Let's round up the crew. Michonne and I will scout the ferry, see what we can find. Alright, so we're just gonna sit around waiting for you. Uh. Your wish. You've got work to do. You didn't answer my question, though. Oh, Christ, here we go again. Guys, you three, catch the boat, pull it out of here, and lay anchor near the shoreline. Got it. Don't go anywhere. Stay near the boat and keep her safe. Never seen that quick time event before. But hey, he sharpened a sword. <laughs> Riveting. Get the parts and get back here. Pete means well, but you know what they say about good intentions. We'll get what we need and get out. That's the plan. Good. Come on, let's keep going. I feel like that's not going to be the only thing that happens on this ferry. Companionship. Don't know how long this episode is, or how many chapters are in it. But I think, as we have just hit 29 minutes, I think I am going to end this here. Um... Is this been an okay game so far? Um, I think it's not as bad as people say it is, although I have only played, like, uh, 25 minutes of it. But that was episode one of The Walking Dead Michonne. Uh, this is the first video game thing I've done in a while. First thing I've done on the channel in a while. So, hope you guys enjoyed that, and we will hopefully see more of this game in the future. Uh... Thank you for watching, and you're always welcome at the Bob Redux channel. Bye.